Jack writes, could you please do a prop of bullets? Absolutely, Jack. Spitzers, shotgun shells, and round noses coming your way. Materials for this prop include a jumbo crayon, duct tape, scotch tape, red and gold acrylic paint, a handsaw, cardstock, a plastic bottle cap, a quarter inch diameter dowel rod, sandpaper, rubber furniture pads, super glue, scissors, a ruler, and a pen or pencil. We'll start with the spitzer. First, wrap the bottom of the crayon with duct tape. You'll need to wrap it a dozen times to get the desired difference in depth. Once finished, wrap the duct tape with scotch tape. Paint the entire bullet gold. For the round nose, use a handsaw to cut off a two-thirds inch piece of the dowel rod. The length will vary depending on what kind of bullet you're making. Use sandpaper to round off one side. And now it's time to move outside. Always be safe when handling spray paint. Use goggles and masks at all times. Paint the bullet gold. I don't really have a preference on the paint. I used both acrylic and spray paint out of convenience for this video. For the shotgun shell, cut a piece of cardstock so you have a piece two and three quarter inches thick. Roll the piece up, set it in the bottle cap, and let it unroll to match the diameter of the cap. Tape the cardstock shut. For added effect, you can cap the shell with a rubber furniture pad. Use super glue to secure the cardstock in the bottle cap. Paint the head gold and the shell case red. And there's three types of ammunition. These are all easily tweaked into a variety of bullets and casings. You can cut the crayons, you can use different color paints, and you can wrap it more times in duct tape to give it a thicker casing. See you next time!